Hey everybody, Ryan Shram here. Today I'm taking you on a tour of the Pure Bowl area in San Clemente. And the Pure Bowl is actually an area of real estate shops, um, the historic, iconic San Clemente Pier within central San Clemente. So looking at this map view really quickly, you can see that central San Clemente, all this blue area is, it's a pretty vast area. And so inside of, of central San Clemente is multiple areas. West of the five, there are four areas in central San Clemente. The Pier Bowl, you've got the downtown real estate, you've got North Beach, and then you've got kind of the real estate um, surrounding the surf ghetto. And the surf ghetto gets its name from um, the old shops where uh, a lot of boards were shaped and still are today. So you have homes kind of in that general area. So we're gonna cover that in another video. Today though, we're focusing on the Pure Bowl. And I want you to, to get a visual of why it's called the Pure Bowl, the types of properties that are in the Pure Bowl, and the sites and attractions that are in here. So right now, I am parked right above the San Clemente Pier. I'm surrounded by apartments, um, timeshares, and condos. And there are some single family um, homes in the Pier Bowl area as well. So without further delay, I'm gonna start driving down right now towards the pier. And I'm gonna basically do a lap around the Pure Bowl. It's not a big area. Um, one of the def defining factors of the Pure Bowl too, let's shoot this sidewalk here, this Ole Hansen Spanish style Satillo paver sidewalk, which is like a historic requirement for um, certain properties and, and can be found throughout this Pure Bowl. And right now it's dropping us right into, we're on Avenida Del Mar, it's dropping us right into the main part of the Pure Bowl where you can find Bear Coast Coffee, Katarina's, the Pier Market, and of course the Fisherman's on the Pier. Most of this stuff that we're filming right now, like right overlooking the Pier, is um, set up for vacation rental. It's kind of like hotel, boutique hotel. A couple of restaurants here as well. Pierside is a good one. There's also the, the famous iconic Beachcomber Inn. This is like tourist kind of central hub right here. A um, lot of action we're filming right now in, in August. So it's been very busy down here. July, end of July was even busier. But it's nice, it's nice to come down here and just kind of look at the pier and, and enjoy the sights. You know, it's one of those things where if you live here, you kind of take it for granted sometimes, but it's really nice to slow down and just enjoy this part, the Pier Bowl, this part of town, as if you were visiting, because it really is special. Um, the bowl, the Pier Bowl gets its name because the actual topography of the, of the land here kind of makes this bowl shaped. So it, it's got awesome views and it's kind of like a rectangular bowl, if you will, almost like a bathtub, if that makes sense. And um, you can see, I'm gonna continue on here. We're kind of climbing up Victoria right now. Uh, Del Mar turns into Victoria as you go up. And most of the real estate on our left-hand side here is multifamily, like residential apartments. But there are a mix of uh, condos as well. And one in particular that's pretty cool is this property here on the left. It just so happens to be on the market for $5 million. It's a really cool two unit condo, if you will, with an ADU in the front lower portion. And then the main property kind of goes up and around the ADU with a rooftop deck. It's really, really cool. It's newer construction and it's built, it's overbuilt for really what's needed. So that's a cool property and you, it, it kind of gives you an idea of the mix of what's here right next to a, probably a three or four unit apartment building, A, B, C, D, four units right here. So you've got a really kind of a beachy mix of property in here. 
Um, and then if you look up here, here's a little single family or possibly a duplex, maybe an Ole Hansen historic home. So really right next to each other, you're getting the full gamut of the different types of properties here. So I wanna put up on the map where I'm driving right now. I'm driving along Victoria and I'm kind of outlining the whole pier bowl. We're gonna make a left up here and I'm gonna drop down Santa Barbara, which is a cool street in the Pier Bowl. A couple more Ole Hansen properties here on our left. Ole Hansen, I'm calling them Ole Hansen properties because Ole Hansen's one of the founders and the founder of San Clemente, really. Him and his partner, um, H. H. Cotton, really founded San Clemente, built out San Clemente together. And the original structures that Ole Hansen built are historic now and um, they're from the 19 late 20s 30s and 40s so now we're kind of cruising down Santa Barbara more multifamily when I say multifamily it could be um, four units five units or more duplex triplex but also a lot of new construction condos this building here I've sold several of the condos in this building um, new construction right next to it. And these come on the market every so often. But what you can get from a condo like this is newer construction right in the heart of the pier bowl. So your walkability score here is a 10. Walk to the pier, walk to the beach, walk to downtown, restaurants. It really gives like an urban style of living which is hard to find in San Clemente. Um, San Clemente is not known for that at all, but let's say you were somebody who wanted that and you wanted to be in a quiet beach town, which San Clemente is. That mix of urban in the quiet beach town is kind of hard to find and the Pier Bowl is one of the places that I would point you. So we're kind of gonna pop back right where we started here. There's a big parking lot in front of us, which is public parking for this Pier Bowl area. And because there's public parking here, that's why it's a little bit busier, right? So it kind of comes along with the territory. This building in front of us here is called Via Granada. These are all condos, which means you own them, right? And then when I say apartments or multifamily, those are four or five or six unit buildings that one owner owns and then rents the rest out. That's the difference there. So these are condos. And Via Granada, it's um, it's not the prettiest building. You can see it's like kind of blocky, cinder block. But they have a very functional floor plan and a lot of these have views. It has a pool, subterranean parking. So it ends up being a pretty good buy for where it is. Makes a great second home condo. Or even I have a lot of clients who want something like in that 1.2 to 1.8 or $2 million range where it's very walkable. And I take a lot of people into this Via Granada building. And right next to it just so happens to be Casa Romanica. And Casa Romanica is a historical building. It's a botanical, cultural center and garden. So you can cruise through there, get a tour. You might have seen in the, in the news of San Clemente recently how there was a landslide at Casa Romanica. Um, and really what that was is their back slope kind of sloughed off and it's currently being repaired. But this is a really beautiful spot. It's a tourist attraction for sure, but it's something you, you definitely want to check out. You can have weddings and host different types of venues and parties here. Get a little shot in there. That door's not usually open. Very boutique-y and just really pretty and special. It's cool to think about this being here since the 30s amazing views from back there too. So Casa Romanica is located in the Pier Bowl. And we're kind of like on the edge of the Pier Bowl here now after we pass it. And I'm still gonna say that the the rest of what I'm about to show you, I will, I will say that it's part of the Pier Bowl. There's the Reef Gate condo building up here which has some more condos in that 1.6 to $2.2 million range. 
those upper ranges, it's, it's a pretty big range. And the reason being is you can get condos in these buildings that are literally, you feel like you're hanging over the ocean with the pier and the waves and Catalina Island sunsets, everything that comes along with feeling like you're floating right over the surf. That's how these oceanfront condos are. So if that's something you're looking for, I would definitely take you through the Via Granada, the reef gate buildings. And then just to kind of end on this note, you've got the pier and the beach, right? But also downtown San Clemente is so boutique -y and cool. And there's so many great restaurants and the shopping that anything in the pier bowl is an easy walk up Del Mar to downtown proper. And downtown has its own real estate. Like obviously these are very close, but I'm giving you kind of a very micro perspective into San Clemente real estate here in this central area. So downtown has its own real estate and you can see that in another video. I'll probably even link it right here. But Pier Bowl is not far from that. And this is something where you wouldn't really need to drive your car very often um, on foot e-bike, golf cart will get you everywhere you really need to go if you're not planning on leaving San Clemente while living in the Pier Bowl. So that's pretty cool and rare and really special. So if you've, if you've got questions about this neighborhood um, being the Pier Bowl, you can reach out, drop me a comment. Um, there are some other little pockets in here. I, I'd want to understand like what you're looking for and and you know, if you do want something walkable, do you want an ocean view or not? And then we set out and find it. So here we are, I'll, I'll leave you guys with this. This is basically the beginning of downtown with the San Clemente Community Center and the library up here. And that's where downtown really starts. Thanks so much. We'll see you on the next one.